Hello and welcome back to Zaitz's John. Once again, back here at the workshop. I'm gonna upgrade it to four times. And you can now use the workshop at Crop Manor. So I'm gonna go through, clean up a couple of things, uh, get them things built, and we will get this settlement started. And, oh. When I'm done, I'll come back and we'll see how this works out. Uh, until then, I'll see ya. Take a uh, quick nap. And I've got three levels to advance, which means I am level 30, which also means I get another van pick. So I've got nine perks to spend. So, yeah. Hui. Um, so let's do one thing in Hunter, because I want the extra meat, because I'm always eating. Buying and selling prices is now much better, so let's do this. Um, I also want to put one of Van so I can get more per, which then means that I've got six more to spend. So let's do uh, what about Armory? Yeah, let's max up Armory. I've got done building and well I am done building there's a caravan traveler there's one person he's assigned to, uh, to food when you assign a provisioner their name looks like it stays provisioner anyway he is growing some food for himself I made him provisioner so I could build on the, the nice things of course we've got kitty cats you notice the building is been upgraded a little bit. Uh, there's a mechanical toy to play with, a giddy up buttercup for more more happiness. And upstairs has been nicely upgraded. Uh, this has been redone, put a rail around it, put a roof over the bottom floor, uh, turned the bottom floor into a bunker style. Of, and I'm gonna put some more beds up here eventually. They've got nine beds now, but I think I've run out of material. Oh, I can make one more. Well, now they have ten beds. So, there's the new settlement here. And uh, now we're off to our next settlement, uh, which is going to be a little bit north. So that's going to be uh, more fun to be had. Generally speaking, I would actually go back to uh, Spectacle Island at this point. And... Uh, create myself a long list of things but I'm not going to I'm actually gonna head out from here go north young man and uh, start another colony at the lighthouse I shouldn't have any problems between here and there cuz I just killed everything so yeah well, if I run into problems between here and the lighthouse, ooh, I will come back. But I am going past here and up into this region. Up ahead, you'll see the lighthouse. There's the Lebowski Cannery. And uh, I am approaching the vicinity. 
getting a lot of good things out of these cars. Ugh. Come on, pop your little head up. Got him. Ran into some bad guys, but uh, they were handled and handled well. Good. All right. Well, yeah. There's the the, ha the cannery. There's some dead mutants. And then, there we go. Okay, so. Let's try to go up the coastal air area. I mean, like, up the literal edge of the water. Is that the beacon? Do they actually have a beacon up there already? Huh. And see if we can sneak up on uh, whatever happens to be in the lighthouse. I think it's probably going to be Children of Adam. Although, they may have been all killed by a wandering patrol of mutants, for all I know. But I've got my big glowy gun and uh, some hankering to snipe. Oh, there's a bad guy right there. Oh, one down. And I'm still hidden. That's always a glorious thing. Ah. Oh, another one down. And I'm still hidden. Still a glorious thing. Although I did see some red. Alright, there's Kingsport Lighthouse. Oh, no, that was... Their ashes glowing. That, that was the red. That works for me. Okay. Sneaky, sneaky. I do have some extra sneak. So I should be even harder to detect than before, but before going any farther, let's take a band-aid. And there we go, bandage. Oh, I've got two sealed magazines. Let's see what these are. Okay, surgical journey, which is obviously going to give me more medical stuff, which is awesome. Nice. And... Please, something awesome, something awesome, something... Survival skill, 5 of 10. All right. Collect uh, allowed to improve survival skills. Huh. I'll definitely take that. Okay. Uh, let's go down to the end of the dock and loot this body here. It will also give us cover to explore further up in that direction. And I actually have Children of Adam here. Uh. Ooh, let's crack that open. That's and it. historical documents for money. Oh, nice. Yeah, those smokeless powder items are very valuable. Let's see if we can climb up onto the top of something and snipe. No, not really. No, not really even. Oh, down. Okay, somebody is looking for us. Now we got to be very cautious. I'm not a big fan of radiation. Um, okay, let's go. This. What the? What was that? How did I get radiation so much? Holy cow! All right, I'm going to close quarters, closer quarters weapon. What was that? Who's there? Come and embrace our glory. Just illusions. No doubt putting my head by the face. Okay, it looks like there's going to be some in the house. So I'm going to sneak up to the house. 
You cannot escape Adam's chosen. And then go in the house. There's a trap. Which I very cleverly sidestepped. And it was a radiation thing, I bet. I bet, because... Yeah. Perhaps it is me. One dead. And you're down. And that was a pretty gross sound. Why are you back there at all? Okay, I'm a little disturbed that she is using that weapon, so uh, I'm probably going to change that as soon as I possibly can. Yeah, breach it while I blow holes into you. That looks like a glowy bad guy. Time to change that weapon out, because uh, that is not the weapon I gave her. Okay. There we go. That's a better weapon. I mean, not really that much for these guys, but uh, yeah, there's a window there. If I could just... Oh! Snap! Barely even see him, and I got it, and I leveled. That's what I call awesome. Well, um, other than that glowy thing at the top of the tower, that's probably going to be pretty much everything here. So... Let us go forth with kill the glowy thing and claim this for our own. Mwahaha. And almost to the top. The thing about the glowy thing up there is it's locked in, if I remember correctly. And it actually can't get to us. And now it's dead. Because I got a critical strike, even. Nice. Some nice bits and pieces. An unfortunate dead trader. Ooh, a boss trunk. Always nice. Well, we're going to get out of this wind and set up a new uh, settlement. Finished building uh, the settlement. I uh, actually customized it quite a bit. This entire floor right there is customized. There's not a whole lot in this building. This is a Horizon building. It is one of the large ones. Some beds in several bunk bag layers. There's a game console. A front room area that can be decorated. And this is the large urban building. And this is a large house. I think we've met. What can I yes, thank you Mr. Provisioner. And uh, all these great things in here. And beds upstairs. So I've completely redesigned uh, this, this. Let's take a look at the stats. I haven't finished the defense quite yet, but the food uh, and the water, I haven't finished the water either. But it's it, this is what it's going to look like when I'm done, so I thought I might show you that. Next, I'm going to go to Spectacle Island, and I'll see you there. Actually, before I leave here, I wanted to show you this little bit right here. Oh, I didn't... I didn't notice that there was a cap stash just sitting there. I mean, I I mean, I mean, totally trashed everything that was here, so. I recreated this, uh, put some defenses down here, put the garden on the beach, made nice little stairs all the way up to the top. So yeah, all good and ready, and uh, I've got two settlers, 12 food, 32 water, 56 power, 80 defense, and 21 beds. They are all set up and ready for a massive influx of people. And I am going to go back to Spectacle Island. Back at Spectacle Island, I'm going to get healed up, crewed up, and head out towards the Brotherhood of Steel. I have no idea where this came from, but uh, I've upgraded the X-24 laser pistol. And I'm going to give it to my companion because I actually have a lot of fusion cells. So, yeah, let's do this. Oh, I think that looks pretty cool. And it does more damage and it is just about 40% more accurate than the other one. So, <laughs> beware. Early next morning, me and my compatriots are ready to go. I'm going to get out and travel to the Brotherhood of Steel. 
and I'll see you when I get there. And this is starting to be a problem. I'm getting lots of monsters coming almost every time I go somewhere. So Nordigang Beach is now in trouble. So I've got to run over there and get that taken care of real quick. Uh, but before I do that, I am about to talk to the Brother of Steel. And I wanted to show you something that I got when I turned in my... Uh, the, the missions for the settlers, I've got a note on local wildlife, which gives me extra BXP, and salvage report, which also gives me EXP. Uh, those are things that were gathered by my settlers on missions. So that's pretty cool. All right, so now I gotta go to North Hadigan Beach to fight an unknown group of monster. They've actually got pretty good defenses, so I'm just gonna get out this weapon. All right, here we go. And we're here. Whoa! Where are they at? Where are they at? Alright, was that it? No. Not it. Gotta wait for the... Oh, yeah, that was it. There was no second wave. Okay, well... Of course, I gotta do the obligatory loot... And uh, then we'll be back to Brohood of Steel, unless, of course, we get another uh, message from our friendly neighborhood invaders. Back here, and of course, now I need to take a glass of water. And let us proceed. Brotherhood Knight, pal. The arrived, and it looks like they sent in the big guns. We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. Alright, so I am going to go up to the ceiling, roof, board a vertibird, and then fly the Pridwin. I will show you clips of that because it's kind of a long ride, and if you've seen it before, it, you know those it's with the not as exciting faces. as one might think. They creep me the heck out. Well, thank you, Brotherhood Star Paladin. Nice. <laughs> I'm just going to blow things up now for a while. Just for the fun of it. The Commonwealth is our duty, and I will gladly spill my own blood if it ensures our victory. We're on final approach to the airport. The Pridwin should be coming into view just ahead. We'll be meeting Lancer Captain Kells on the flight deck. Just stick close to me and answer all of his questions. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted him to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor his entry into our rankings personally. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request and placed the recruit in your charge. Thank you, sir. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address, after which Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. Lots and lots of rats. Yay! Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Synth. Therefore, the Institute and their Synths are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. Ad victorium. I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. From this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Uh, well, I am going to look around for a while and see if I could find that fellow for the NPC. We'll see. Please make it brief. All right. So, other than looking around for just general. Stuff. I'm looking for on the promotion, Knight. an NPC named David who's supposed to be wandering about. Said she needed this suit tested yesterday. Yeah, I get it. Just we'll see. Oh, that might be. No, that's somebody else I'm supposed to meet. So, oh, there he is. Hello. <clears throat> hey there. You're the new recruit, are you? That's right. That's right. Great. It's nice to meet you. My name's David Hunter, and I'm a paladin of the Brotherhood of Steel. So tell me, what is it brings you into our fold? Uh, it was the right thing to do. 
I'll certainly agree with you on that front. You know, the Brotherhood talks a lot of bluster about retrieving technology, but I think deep down it's all about helping people. If this has been Ageless John playing Horizon in Fallout 4, thank you for joining me. Come back next time and we'll continue our adventures. Until then, I'll see you around. Thank you.